Just how well do Tesla vehicles hold their value compared to the competition? I'm Jonathan Stewart, and welcome to CleanerWatt. In just a minute, we'll actually go into the reasons why Tesla vehicles hold their value so well. But before we do, I want to look at the Model 3, the Model S, and the Model X compared to a few competitors and see how much more value they hold than the others. We'll start first of all with the Model 3. And here I've gone to cargurus.com and I've pulled the data for the first five 2018 Model 3 long range rear wheel drive models that they recommended here. You'll see there that the brand new price of this Model 3 was $49,000. And if you look at the sample of these five vehicles, you'll see there that the depreciation number is somewhere around 10%. A somewhat comparable vehicle would be a 2018 BMW 3 Series, the 330i rear wheel drive. I went to Car Gurus once again and pulled five examples to give us a price idea of how much the vehicle has depreciated. And as you can see there, based on these five real examples, the 2018 BMW 330i has depreciated somewhere around 39%. Now let's look at the Tesla Model X. For this example, I went to cargurus.com once again and pulled the data for the 2018 Tesla Model X and specifically for the all-wheel drive 100D model. The Tesla Model X 100D was around $99,000 brand new. And based on these real world examples, you can see there that the vehicle has depreciated somewhere around 16%. That's a very low number for a luxury vehicle as we'll talk about a little later in the video. A good comparison to the Tesla Model X is the 2018 Porsche Cayenne, and as you can see from these real-world examples that I pulled from cargurus.com, you can see that this vehicle has a depreciation of around 19%. Now let's take a look at the Tesla Model S and see how much it has held its value. I went to cargurus.com and pulled the data for the 2018 Tesla Model S 75D all-wheel drive, which had a brand new price of $74,500, and you can see there, based on, once again, these five examples, the vehicle has depreciated somewhere around 24%. I chose the 2018 Mercedes S-Class S450 rear-wheel drive as a good comparison to the Tesla Model S. And you can see there, based on the new price and these five examples, that the depreciation number for this vehicle is approximately 29%. So as you can see, Tesla vehicles hold their value very well. I recently read an article that pointed to the iccars.com research that showed the top 10 lowest depreciating vehicles. This data was compiled from real world examples and shows vehicles that are one year old. And you can see there that the Tesla Model 3 had the very lowest depreciation percentage of any vehicle that they looked at, only depreciating 5.5% or just over $2,500 in a year's time. Now, as I mentioned earlier in the video, luxury cars often depreciate quite a bit. I found an article from Forbes.com and they listed the 10 highest depreciating vehicles after five years of ownership. You can see there that the top vehicle, the Maserati there, had a depreciation number after five years of 72.2%. The BMW 7 Series was second on that list with 71.2%. 3% depreciation. You'll see that number four is also a BMW, number five is also a BMW, and number eight on the list is also a BMW. So now that we've looked at some of the basic data and we've seen that Tesla leads the competition when it comes to holding their value and having low depreciation, what are some of the reasons why I believe that Teslas hold their value so well? One of the first reasons is because Tesla has superior technology in their vehicles. I mentioned this in a past video, but recently there was a group in Japan that did a teardown of the Tesla Model 3, and they found that the electronics in the Tesla were somewhere around six years ahead of Toyota and VW. And they talked about the fact that Tesla was sending shivers down the traditional auto supply chains. If you've ever driven a Tesla, you know they have the best technology by far. Software updates are another reason why Teslas hold their value so well. Tesla vehicles get better with age and are more future-proof than traditional vehicles because with over-the-air updates, Tesla can add features to their vehicles and improve upon the features that are already existing. Obviously, software, as we mentioned, is a big deal, but you must have the right hardware to run that software. Tesla has currently made available retrofit updates for the hardware of their older vehicles. 
Customers who purchase the full self-driving package are getting a free upgrade to the hardware 3.0 Tesla full self-driving computer. And for customers that have the old MCU-1, they're able to update that computer to MCU-2 and have a much better infotainment experience. These hardware updates allow an older model to have many of the new features, and this is unheard of in the automotive industry. Autonomous driving hardware is also a key to Tesla's holding their value. Tesla vehicles produced today should have all the hardware necessary for full self-driving, and the older vehicles can get hardware updates to also be ready for full self-driving. As I mentioned in previous videos, I do believe Tesla will be the first one to get to full self-driving feature complete, and they will have a large fleet of vehicles ready to go when that happens. Another reason why Teslas hold their value so well are because of their batteries and powertrains, which are designed to last much longer than a traditional ICE vehicle engine and transmission. Their newest motors are designed for a 1 million mile life, and their batteries should get somewhere around 300,000 to 500,000 miles before they need to be replaced. Tesla is also working on 1 million mile battery, which will also increase the value for future vehicles as well. Another key reason is that Tesla has the best charging network. They have over 1,870 charging locations throughout the world, including 16,585 actual fast chargers at those locations. This charging network is very reliable and has strategic locations allowing for long range travel for Tesla owners. It also allows for some of the fastest charging times with up to 250 kilowatts of power at their V3 stations. All those reasons that I just mentioned apply to every Tesla vehicle, but I wanted to go over a few specifics for the Tesla Model 3. As I mentioned, the Tesla Model 3 has the very lowest depreciation of any vehicle currently on the road. On top of the other benefits that we mentioned, I believe some of the reasons why the Tesla Model 3 has the best resale value in the automotive industry are because of, first of all, it offers an amazing value. If you look at the performance and the features that you get for just over $39,000 with a standard range plus, this vehicle is an amazing value. Also add to the fact that there is very high demand for the Tesla Model 3 and this is definitely keeping the resale value high. Tesla is currently selling every Model 3 that they can manufacture. On top of that, the Model 3 has a very low cost of ownership, it is a very efficient vehicle, and has a very low running cost. Now here at the end of the video, I want to bring up a topic that Elon Musk mentioned in a Lex Friedman podcast in April of 2019, where he said, quote, Buying a car today is an investment into the future. I think the most profound thing is that if you buy a Tesla today, I believe you are buying an appreciating asset, not a depreciating asset. So a lot of people have debated this on Twitter, and I've seen a lot of people talk about there's no way that a car could be an appreciating asset. All cars lose value. And while this statement is true, there is something that could actually make this statement by Elon Musk be a fact. On July 16th of 2019, Elon Musk tweeted out this, If we make all cars with the full self-driving package self-driving as planned, any such Tesla would be worth $100,000 to $200,000 as utility increases from 12 hours a week to 60 hours a week. What he's talking about here is the ability for your Tesla to make money for you on the Tesla network. Once Tesla is able to reach full autonomy and there is no longer a driver needed in the seat, Tesla is going to allow owners to put their cars into the network and autonomously earn income. When true full self-driving becomes a reality, any Tesla vehicle with the right hardware will be able to earn income for its owner. These autonomous vehicles will instantly increase in value and could be worth more than their original purchase price if the demand is high enough. On top of that, if Tesla increases the price for full self-driving, anyone who has purchased it before the price increase could instantly see more value out of their car if they were to sell it. We don't know how high the price of full self-driving can go, but Elon Musk has mentioned that it will go up as more features are rolled out. So potentially, with all this coming together, your Tesla could truly be an appreciating asset. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it and that you learned something as well. If you are not yet subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. 
And if you do subscribe, if you click the bell icon, you'll be notified when new videos are published. Also, if you did like the video, please consider clicking the like button so other people can find the video as well. Thank you so much.